Hey everyone, hey everyone, hey everyone. So I thought for today's video, because 2019 is coming up to a wrap, I just thought why not just make a whole thing about what I've learned in this decade and it's gonna be 50 things. It's been a long 10 years, honestly. I learned that uh, our life is filled with random things. It's filled with happy, sad, whatever, but I learned throughout this kind of 10 years what I didn't like, what I liked, what worked for me, and hopefully um, I can do a better job in another 10 years. If you guys have anything that you want to share that you learned throughout this decade, put a comment down below and let's get this video started. So number one is to start something. I don't care what it is, but just do it. The only way to start is to start and never underestimate the power of decision. Once you decide on doing something, you'll make time to do it. And once you get the ball rolling, you'll become habitual and for better or worse, at least you can say you tried. Number two is to accept hurt. It took me a long time to get over the fact that I lost my second oldest brother in 2014. He was um, spontaneous, funny, and had a caring heart. He loved One Piece, which I do too, and so many times I walked to his room thinking that he'll be there to catch me for a ride to school, bailing me out for lunch money, or getting late night snacks at an Asian grocery store. Um, I wish I could have done something different because I badly wanted to see him one last time, and I didn't think much of my brother's death since I kept myself really busy with school and work, but I found that the healing began the moment I accepted hurt. Number three is to stop overthinking and be true to you. So I've overthought so many things from job offers, courses, dance choreographies, and just about everything. As long as the choice you make is true to you, don't overthink it and just do it. Number four is that you're probably going to be in a rut, not like t once, twice, but like 10 times at least before you can get back up. And you know, I was destroyed when my parents got divorced, my brother passed away, and I was through broke in college. Like I really couldn't even afford a taco, that's how broke I was. But whatever ducks back, like Jigs Monsoon, and just carry on, and I swear this shit will be so much easier. Never go to bed angry. Um, it's super hard to sleep and breathe with your own anger, for real, like you can sleep better with a cleaner mind. So. Just do your best and clear your mind before you sleep because if you're angry, it's hard to fall asleep. Number six is never go to bed hungry. It's the same as being angry. It's so hard to focus when you're hungry. So just take a snack or something. I don't care what it is, just get something. Don't, it's really hard to sleep when you're hungry. Trust me. <laughs> Number seven is to manifest. The universe is your oyster and works in weird, mysterious ways. Number eight, it's okay to be sad. Sometimes I thank people for letting me go because I wouldn't have walked away. Sadness is a part of life's regular ups and downs, and it's not constant though, so it's gonna go away, for real. So number nine is that you owe no one explanation of why you want to do something. So if you don't want to do something, just say no. I wish it was that easy for when I was younger, but now I'm learning that it's okay to say no to things you don't want to do. And number 10, vice versa, is saying yes. You want to do something, just do it. You don't owe another explanation of why you want to do it. And number 11 is knowing your legal rights. So I wish when I was younger I read contracts carefully and terms of services just because the way we're going right now in society, especially with companies and marketing and stuff, it's kind of scummy how people take advantage of the data you use and everything about it. So just make sure in 2020, read things carefully. I know it's super boring, but it's good to be super helpful in understanding how to change things. I read contracts where they weren't even fair for me and I had to read it again to make things for changes just so I could have a better kind of like reasonable standard of living. So just know your legal rights, know your terms of services, everything. Just, just read it. Number 12 is that everyone starts somewhere because, you know, for me, generally, I was never good at a lot of things and this was my first dance class and it's so humiliating to watch but I learned that no one is good at the first gecko and everyone starts somewhere so don't give up if I can start doing something that I first started with and I was so bad like so bad then you can do it too and throughout this experience of working hard and being passionate about what I wanted to do I learned about myself and what I did like and what I didn't like and just know that when you started to dance or anything what you want to do just know that you start somewhere Number 13 is to take a risk. I always thought to myself, play it safe, play it cool, but to be honest, that kind of kept me stagnant and I had to ask myself what I wanted to do and by taking risk, I learned a lot more about myself. Number 14 is life is too short to not eat good food. And I stand by this for so much because enjoy it with your friends and family. Life is too short and things could happen anytime. So just enjoy yourself and enjoy this good food. This is a real life Ikemen. It's an Ikemen. No. Alright. Itadakimasu. Number 15 is learning how to budget. So when I first got kicked out, the first three to four months was so shaky. You know, I was so frugal and stingy that um, anything I would do, I would be so scared to spend just because, 
you know, I was scared I wouldn't have enough. Over time, that kind of deteriorated my mental health just because I was always thinking about, you know, I can't enjoy stuff because, you know, X, Y, Z. And, um, you know, the, the more you budget, the more you plan when you put into your savings and things like that. It definitely gets easier how to budget and plan. And you figure out kind of a pattern or, and just you figure out a pattern and a system that kind of helps you understand how to put your money and then allocating, you know, something else next time. And maybe if you guys want to know, I can put something in budget or something but uh, yeah number 16 is to be passionate and you know you can be talented in something but I find that people like myself who wasn't even good at almost anything uh, you have to really work for it I think you just have to really push yourself and work hard for it because passion is gonna always overcome a talent I know talent is something that people have naturally and if you're gifted at it definitely good job and great job but passion is, passion is something that you can do and have skills with and work towards and be good at it. So be passionate about everything you do. Number 17 is to be more caring. I learned that through uh, myself throughout the decade, I was very selfish in how I talked a lot, especially when I was in younger high school kind of days. I was like, um, a perfect example would be like, how's your day? And I would list like everything and I would never give a chance to my friends to speak up. So I felt like I was overshadowing them quite often and that near the end of it, I'll be like, oh, how's your day? And it's like, it's been two hours straight. So definitely I've learned to reconstruct that. And I definitely think what I've learned throughout the decade is to just be more caring and thoughtful of other people and my surroundings. And uh, yeah, number 18 is to be vulnerable. So I've learned that throughout myself, it took me super, 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 super long to figure out how to explain to you guys how to be vulnerable towards the internet and sharing my stories. I find that um, it's none of anyone's business to know, but then again, I thought to myself, you know, maybe the step towards me being somewhat even better and knowing myself more is just to be vulnerable and let you guys know what's up with myself and why I'm this kind of way versus like what you guys thought maybe a few years ago, hopefully for the better change. But um, definitely being vulnerable is something that I'm trying to learn and especially reading the comments from a few week videos back or even yes, last week's video, um, comments you guys write, it warms my heart to know that you guys think that way. And uh, I love that you guys can support me still and I thank you guys so much. Number 19 is ask for help. So um, I have been in this kind of like, end of the stick kind of end where I'm just picking up things as I learn. Like I said, I'm passionate to learn things and Without, you know, sometimes knowing something, you have to really just ask for help. Um, I know independence is like key and you can always Google stuff and everything, but sometimes it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for people to help you out and give you some pointers and tips because that's how you figure out life. Number 20 is work hard and work smart. So when I say this, I just kind of think to myself, especially with things that are just very grueling and taxing, you definitely want to think to yourself, okay, how could I make this done efficiently and the easiest way possible while still maintaining kind of a hard work, passionate kind of thing. And you'll find it when you figure out kind of stuff with patterns and things like that, you kind of learn how to automate it per se or kind of find ways to make kind of shortcuts. So number 21 is don't lie to yourself and just be honest. Um, again, it was super hard being honest with you guys about everything. Um, I'm trying to be and trying to learn slowly how to be more open about it But I feel the more you're true to yourself the more you'll kind of be more comfortable with how you're living and uh, yeah. Number 22 is super obvious. It's supporting your friends and you know uh, I find that going to the extra mile just showing up to their showcases or exhibitions or whatever they have to offer I mean just going to their places and just supporting them you know, that kind of friend you're doing is gonna really appreciate it. And I find that I learned that throughout the whole decade that there's never a bad time supporting someone that you care about a lot. And I honestly think they'll reciprocate somehow. Maybe in the future, later, whatever, but honestly they will. Number 23 correlates with number 22 is that, you know, you have to love yourself. So as RuPaul has said it before, how the hell are you gonna ever love somebody else if you can't love yourself? So definitely love yourself first before you give love to anyone else, you know? Yeah. Is number 24 is to eat as healthy as you can. Um, right now, it's just not a good time for me. I've been having so many triggers with acne and it sucks, but I'm trying to learn my best to eat more healthier and, you know, eat to your best of your abilities though, obviously, and try your best to eat healthy. Number 25 is to exercise and that kind of rhymed. I found that it's a good way to relax my mind, especially getting something off from work. And you know, from being on the screen the whole day, doing something completely different from that is just so much more relieving. So definitely exercise more. Number 26 is understanding your privilege. I found that in this decade, I've learned a lot about myself with identity politics and who I associate myself with and what kind of privilege that entails with. So definitely understanding your own privilege. Number 27 is understanding politics. I think in this kind of day and age, 
there is no one in this world who cannot say they're not political. I find that if you're not political, then you're kind of lacking of the nuances of privilege and that you really need to think to yourself, okay, how can I be someone to exercise my rights towards helping other people? And I think that's something you have to do with being political. And that could be like voting, being into like any kind of community, knowing just everything around bills being passed and stuff, just be passionate about it because you have to be political. You know, especially with our political climate right now where things are not the greatest so far in our world, it's the onus is on us as well to be political in whatever we're doing. Number 20, there's a quote I really liked from Anna Akana, and it's, um, it's okay to want to be beautiful as long as it's your definition of beauty. And I think that represents me so much that, you know, you should love yourself and love anyone who does decide to do whatever they want to do with their body. No saying what they like to do, and if they think that's beautiful, leave it to them. Number 29 is to go on trips. Whether it's small or large trips, you'll learn something about yourself. Number 30, number 30 is me. Just make sure to laugh a lot. Life is just sad enough already that we just have to laugh it off. And if you can make fun of it every day like I do, just do it. <laughs> number 31 is to find an outlet. Whether it's something that you love to do or whatever, for me it was dance. And when I was younger, it sucked because I couldn't afford to go to any dance classes. I was broke, my parents, you know, split. So it was just like me by myself. And I had to save up a lot, but I picked it up at university and you know what, I failed a lot, but slowly it became something to enjoy and it soon became my outlet for just about anything. Number 32, creating things take time and as a creative, it just takes a lot of work to make things that you want to do. Number 33 is that copywriting is super hard, finding the right audience and voice and the tone is just super difficult but worth it. And number 34 is that social media is hard and it's not a joke, it takes so much effort than what I think I used to know and I'm always learning so much. Number 35 is that you can always learn something. Whether it's a task that you may not feel that you like, whether it's something that you will like, you will always learn something out of everything. Number 36 is learning how to cook. Uh, so thank goodness I knew some kind of basic things, but I wish I could have took more cooking classes because, uh, you know, but um, you know, the internet is a great place to learn things from. You have so many resources like Bon Appetit, which I continuously binge watch everything from there. Number 37 is being nice to people in the service industry. That's from retail to foods. They work so hard and deal with so much BS and please be as nice to them as much as you can because they deserve everything. Number 38, Mean Girls is forever iconic and might I say more, this movie is just forever iconic for all the reasons. Number 39 is Joanne Cusack. I can still remember this scene from Raising Helen and this scene is something I'll forever remember for some kind of odd reason but it's very powerful and funny and I'll forever quote till I die the bane of my existence is this is that you're not a bad person it's just bad behavior. Number 40 your taste in music will change. Number 41 is to try new things. Um, when I say that I kind of think to yourself Try stuff that you're not used to, be pushing yourself to new boundaries, and you never know, you could explore something that you really liked, you never knew that you could have pulled off or achieved. Number 42 is to never be late. I find that whenever I have something important to do, your time is so important, and for friends, they need to honor that kind of thing too, where, you know, if they're running late, that kind of shows the value of your time versus their time, and I'm someone who's very much, you know, I want to be punctual just because I want to be there, right? So just try your best to always be on time. Number 43 is to breathe, and so Sometimes it's the world is just so hectic and it's so fast paced and moving that you just need to stop for a minute and just to take a deep breath. So take a deep breath. Number 44 is give things that serve a purpose. So as Mary Kondo said, once it's done with its use, just give it away or just throw it away because honestly, um, I've had a few things where I used to have a lot of makeup PR and then you know, I didn't really want to have so much wasteful things, so I just gave it away or at this point now, I just don't want to buy too many things because the earth is going to die, right? So we have to really be conscious of what we're shopping for and what we're buying for. So just try your best to just be conscious and if you have no use for it, just try to use it to your best or give it to someone who deserves it or I don't know, just figure a way out, but just, you know, if it serves its purpose, give it away. That's what I kind of think. Number 45 is I still can't stand scrubbing toilets and I don't know what it is but it's just off-putting and I know it's been almost a decade in that I'll do this but I don't know if I could do it guys it's kind of gross and I am always yak I, I film myself anyways to show you guys that I just don't like doing it but yeah I don't know if the decade will change or so but for now in this decade uh, it's a no. 
number 46 is that you're only going to die once and i know this sounds so kind of bold but just know that you only have one life and that you want to do as much things that you can that you're just going to be proud of so make sure to never regret what you're doing and just be proud of what you're going to do and always move forward so number 47 is to take responsibility of your own choices, your emotions and feelings. Whatever you do and say, you have something that comes out of your mouth. And I learned a lot and I am still learning, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to learn my best to just make sure that I have no excuses of why I said whatever I said. Or, you know, anything you can say, it's your own individual choice. So when you're mad and you, and you say something you didn't want to mean to say, you know, that kind of is being said already, so try to watch what you're saying, reflect a lot, and just think to yourself, how can I be more you know, attentive and how can I be more responsible with my own choices? Number 40 is to give thanks to the most simplest things, and that could be from anything of someone holding a door for you, or just even saying how you have a bed at home. I have a whole list every day, every night, where I just think to myself, I have this, this, and this, and I couldn't have achieved that without doing so many things. So, yeah. Number 49 is don't chase that thing you aren't. So. I used to be wanting to be like the best this, 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 and I was so confused in myself that I lost my own identity of who I wanted to be, and it really sucked because it took me a lot of learning again, and I think this whole decade is just about learning stuff. I'm in my 20s still, so I'm still learning of course, but like, you know, it's all about finding yourself and not trying to be like someone else, so. Number 50 is finding your own voice and I don't think I am exactly finding my own voice completely but I think I'm on the right track where I want to be, where I want to make and what I want to do and it's a good reflection of you guys always commenting and giving me so much love and comments and likes that I really appreciate what you guys say so much that I think it kind of curates to what I'm saying right now and, how, and who I am today. So thank you guys so much for even you know, watching me as someone who is such a small YouTuber who doesn't even know what he wanted to do for so long, it really touches my heart and I'm so happy you guys that um, you guys stick around. I'm so emotional, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. So that's number 50. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys do enjoy. Happy 2019. And if you guys could, please like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys all soon.